Today is Sunday, September 24th, 2023, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our theme for today's article is Christ and His Church. Our opening scripture is taken from Ephesians 1, 22-23, and it says, And had put all things under His feet, and gave Him to be the head over all things to the church, which is His body, the fullness of Him that filleth all in all. Hallelujah. Christ and the church are one. Pastor begins. He is the head and we, the church, are his body. We are inextricably one with him. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 9 verses 3 to 5, for example, we have a clear reference of the union of Christ and the church in the dialogue between the Lord and Saul of Tarsus, who later became Paul. That passage reads, And as he, Saul, journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven, and he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the priests. That we can find in Acts 9, 3-5. Praise God. Prior to his conversion, Saul wreaked havoc in the early church and persecuted Christians everywhere until he had an encounter with the Lord who intercepted him and asked, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? That we can find in Acts 9, verse 4. The Lord intimately identifies himself with the church, pastor says. An offense or evil committed against the church is committed against Jesus. The Lord takes it personal because we are of the same stock. Oh, glory to God. He is the vine and we, the church, are the branches. He is the head of the church. And he is the head of the body, the church, as we find in Colossians 1 verse 18. Now, pastor goes on to say, The head and the body have the same name, authority, and identity. Together, we are called Christ. Praise God. We've been baptized into the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 27 says, Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 13 says, For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Hallelujah. The church which is the body, doesn't answer a name that's different from that of the head. True? This is to help you see who you are, where you are, and what you have. You are one with Christ. Glory to God. When he was raised from the dead, you were raised up together with him. Now that he's seated on the throne, you are seated together with him in the place of dominion, glory, and authority. Blessed be God. Pastor concludes, Oh dear Lord, thank you for your word to us today and for Pastor Chris. All right, let's take a prayer now, meaning every word from the bottom of our hearts. Please say with me, Blessed Father, how awesome you are. Thank you for my inextricable oneness with Christ. Thank you for bringing me into such sublime union an identity with the monarch of the universe. Now, I am seated with Christ in the place of dominion, glory and authority, where I reign and rule over circumstances and situations by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. All right, for further study, please read Ephesians 5, 29 to 30 and 1 Corinthians 10, 16 to 17. Praise God forevermore. Now think about this. The Lord nourishes and cherishes his body, the church, and we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones, as we find in Ephesians 5, 29 to 30. Now, we see clearly who we are where we are and what we have. We are inextricably one with Christ. 
What an assurance. Blessed be God. All right, for further details, please contact us via any of our social media. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in Him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.